Can we just make out already? Please sit down so we can make out! Ah! What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge. As I'm sure you can tell, there is something different about me. Something magical, something possibly unexpected if you don't follow me on Instagram. That's right, my hair's got a different color. It's pink now, but I thought I would go back pink again. Anyway, last time we just moved into our purple gen apartment, living our independent life style. Hopefully today my goal is to get out of our first career and into our second, which of course is the doctor career. I'm really excited because it's been since mint generation, which is the first generation since we've got to go to work with the Sims. We're also keeping an eye out for our potential love interest because we do have to divorce them and then marry them again. We'll just keep an eye out, keep an eye out, and hopefully we'll run into some hotties. Let's jump in. We're back in the Barry household. We are going to work in, oh my gosh, right now, actually. We need to go to work. We are really late to work. Please go to work. Oh my gosh, we were supposed to get our promotion today and you are so late. Oh, what? Stop. I glitched it and so she didn't go to work today, but it is Harvest Fest, so I guess it makes sense that she didn't go to work and it will be really fun to do a Harvest Fest with the girls. So first, let's give them makeovers in Kaz and then we will have a fantastic Harvest Fest with our new roommates. So this roommate is hot-headed, she's proper, and she's a dance machine and she wants to actually live on the beach someday. So hopefully she makes it out there at some point. All right, we're gonna take off her lashes. Her brows are really intense. So part of me is thinking that maybe we adjust these a little bit so they're not so very intense. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then we'll give her some eyelashes. I think that's good, honestly. For her hair, I am not feeling this hair whatsoever, but I do like the side swept look. So let's see if we have any custom content. Ooh, this one, that looks good. Or I could just mix it up. She doesn't have to have the same hair. I like this one. Let's do that. And then outfit. Okay, I actually really like this skirt. I think the skirt is the centerpiece. It also is purple, so it matches the rest of the decor in the house. I feel like we have that in common, right? We're both dance machines. We both love the color purple. I think that this is a good roommate situation. Maybe that's what we decided the roommate on, but there are worse things to choose your roommate over, right? We could give her one of these or this one maybe. I think this looks good with that. And then we could do a fun color combo. I think this is a fun look. Maybe not the shoes now that I'm looking at everything together. I think the pumps are good. She looks great. This is her new look. She's fun. She looks like she's like a fun dancer queen who's like a little hot headed. I love it. And so now. Next up, of course, is Genevieve. Genevieve needs a makeover too. Genevieve's already super, super cute with her everyday look. I still really like this kind of preppy, I guess, look, but I think the socks might need to go and give her some different shoes and she's a little more grown up. Cause I like the look, but I wanna go more like Rachel Green from Friends energy. Okay, so there you go. Sleepwear. These are choices. They're bold choices. Let's get you maybe like a more cozy looking outfit. Okay, perfect. And then party wear. This is your party look? I hate those shoes. Let's do that. Okay, in cold weather. There you go. Her feet look tiny from the front somehow, but this is Genevieve. So Genevieve is squeamish. She's lazy and she's a cat lover. That's kind of perfect that she's a roommate but she wants to be a master vampire. Okay, Genevieve, live your dreams, I guess. Cool. Okay, well, we are enjoying this cake from Genevieve, but like, why don't we make a grand dinner since we can? We'll make a turkey dinner because it's Harvest Fest. Look at Kat in this house on the furniture, just living the best life. Oh my gosh. We got a cat cam. Look at that booty. Waiting for crumbs from mom. Why did the ears grow? Did you see that? <laughs> Oh, look at them. We should turn on this and listen to something fun. Oh, I think she does like hip hop. Let's turn on hip hop and listen to it. And this is so like the TV show Friends. It's like their first, oh my gosh, stop. Scratching please, cat. It's their first like Friendsgiving without the family, which is a very much like an episode of the TV show Friends. We leveled up our cooking skill too. That's awesome. All right, we're calling everyone to our meal. Oh God, do not eat my human food, cat. 
Oh, cat, learn not to eat people food. Good job, cat. Okay, I was just yelling at you, but actually you're the best, so good job. We're having our own little Thanksgiving together, just the girlies. They're chatting about the meal. They're like, ooh, Amethyst, you could be a chef with how talented you are. Mainly just get prepared for work tomorrow because we are getting our promotion and then we are getting out of that job, okay? We are not in that job any longer. No, no. Our harvest fest was over. Yeah, it was just okay. That's fine. All right, she's gonna go to bed. Look at us, first night with the roomies. Oh my God, oh my gosh. There was an earthquake. We slept right through it, honestly, same. We had a nice sleep and now we are going to think about our family member and it's dad. Maybe we should send him like a nice text. It is 8 a.m. so I think he could be up. Maybe invite him over. We haven't seen him in a minute, to be honest. I feel kind of bad because Cannon and her kind of got a little distant at this point. All right, we're gonna practice again our skill. We are so so close to level eight. So that's my goal for this morning. Get her to level eight on the guitar. Ooh, look, our friend who is a dance machine is dancing to our music on this guitar. What a duo. I don't think we're that close with our roommate yet, Mai, but we're like not bad. Invite in to entertain. Yeah, come on in, Kala. Oh, that's so cute. Kala said, sounds like something awesome is happening in your place. Mind if I come in to check it out? Yeah, Kala. I love that our cousin, our like baby cousin is able to come hang with us now. Oh my gosh, who is that? Vivian and Pete. Oh my gosh, is she our neighbor? I think it's Poppy's half sister or something like that. No, it was Forrest. It was Poppy's brother's child, but like also half sibling. I remember it was really weird. And so are all of these people. Oh my gosh. And Krishna is flirting with Vivian, but we have all our neighbors in here and they are truly bizarre, especially Adonis and Peachishme. Stop it. I mean, he's really kind of cute if you take away the cat ears. Listen, this is such a weird meeting because he's giving her a massage. I don't know what's going on, but that was romantic 100%. Donis and Peachishme went in. I need to know more about Adonis. And then she just made out with Adonis? Okay, something's going on. Free ah! Ah! Oh, I hate this. Oh my God, they're all scared in the hallway. We're inviting all our neighbors in, but I think free love is on right now. Yes, it is. Oh, this is gonna be hard to see who likes us and who does it with free love on. I don't want everyone flirting with everyone all the time. I don't care. This is my game. I'm taking free love off. I'm cheating it. I don't care. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Taking off free love, none of that. No, no more. Adonis is PGK, we find attractive, but Adonis is married to Vivian. So that's not happening. What about Sheldon? Oh, he nope, he's married. Okay, everyone's married and someone's calling me. <gasps> Kyla Keola? Wait, who's Kyla Keola? And why am I getting a call that our family member passed away when I don't even know that person? Okay, I really thought that one of my family members died. <gasps> See, look, it's Vivian impeaches May. Forrest Berry's child. Who is this person that just died? Oh, a half sister to Cannon. Got it. Okay, Cannon's half sister died. Oh, that's sad for dad. Maybe we should give him a call. See if he's doing okay. Maybe we'll invite him to hang out. We have work in five hours. All right, Cannon's gonna be over. Oh, here's Cannon. Go chat with him. Ask about his day. He went upstairs immediately. He probably doesn't like how many people are downstairs. Skylar wants to call. Mom, give me a second. I'm trying to talk to dad. Oh my gosh. Oh, dad's happy that we invited him over. He's like so shocked. He's like, she's grown up. The last time he saw her, she was a teen. They've been in this fight for like a hot minute. It makes me sad. Lindsay Williamson, I'm called to inform you that your great, great grand second once removed cousin friend's grandpa has passed away and some reason has left you a vast fortune. Specifically to you, will you accept? I feel like she would ask under what conditions. It could be canon half sister left her money, which doesn't make any sense. So she's like, why would she leave me money? And then they're gonna be like, well, in case you got married, then that would make sense why she might rush into a marriage. I don't know. We don't have anyone to marry yet, but I'm just thinking ahead. Okay, under what conditions? It's, a, oh, 
flip. I forgot it was money, money, money. Oh, very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was that there would be no conditions if you asked if there would. I forgot which one was which. All right, we're gonna chat with dad. We're gonna try to cheer him up. Maybe make some jokes. Ask about his day. Just try to make him laugh and have a good time. Yeah, comedy level two. We're slowly but surely gaining our relationship back with our dad through humor. So that's nice. I know you guys were like bummed out when they weren't being friends. Oh my gosh, this house is chaos. Someone left the trash right there. There is so much going on. Krishna, what about Krishna? Is he single? Okay, he's single. He's a young adult, but he's a little bit older. Go talk to Krishna a little bit. Krishna could be cute. Tell a joke about mimes. He's like a neighbor. I mean, he's wearing a terrible looking ring, but perceived as attractive. Okay, Krishna could be a good one. I mean, look at him. Handsome. We like the little ponytail. He's wearing glasses. He has potential. We can make him a hot sim. Wait, since when did she have a guitar? And she's playing a love song? Is she serenading someone? What is happening right now? We start work in about an hour, so we need to grab some- Oh my gosh, she is such a flirt. Mai was trying to flirt with Adonis, and then he left with his wife. This is so awkward. Mai, I thought you had a boyfriend. Why are you so flirty? I don't understand. Who's this guy? Who are you? Oh my gosh, roommate's boyfriend. Wait, is this- Whose boyfriend is this? Is this Genevieve's boyfriend? Unless she has multiple boyfriends, this is not Mai's boyfriend. Friend. Okay, now we're having like a friends hangout. That's cute. And of course our dad's here. I really should get going. Thanks for hanging out. Aw, dad was like, I should get going, but I'm really happy that you invited me. I have no idea whose boyfriend this is, but I am so curious who has a boyfriend. Oh, we're gonna go to work. We all our needs are perfect. We are going to work. Stop doing that. Just go to work. Don't be late. Okay, we need the promotion today. All right, so work hard. Thank you. She's already working hard. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, apparently it's game night and my roommates just keep inviting people over, which is kind of fun. <gasps> Amethyst wants to impress the boss for a promotion. How should she go about it? I think we're gonna complete a side project because in the past, this has gone well for me. Oh, performance gained large! Yes, Amethyst takes the initiative to complete an oft overlooked side task. Amethyst's boss who's quite impressed to the tune of a near promotion perhaps? Okay, yes. No, are you kidding me? We are stuck in this dead end job. This is totally like the plot of Friends. Okay, Mai, just complain about your problems. I don't wanna be spending all of her best years on this stupid job. I wanna move on. I'm gonna get to level three. Okay, she's gonna rock out with her guitar, hopefully finish this skill, finally, and then I'll move on to fitness. And then we will have four level eight skills of six. I love that my cat is singing along with me. Wait, whose boyfriend is that? I wanna see who he's sitting with. Okay, he's sitting with Genevieve. So I'm assuming that's actually Genevieve's boyfriend, which is super cool. We should do like a polite introduction. Everyone's dating but you, girl. Oh, great. I'm so glad that we got along with him because I really would love him and her to get along. Since it's my best friend's boyfriend, I need to get along with him, otherwise he doesn't get to stick around. I am the decision maker on the boyfriend thing, okay? All right, and I am tired because it is after midnight, so let's go to sleep. Go to sleep, good night. Got another day to go to work. It's fine, we're fine, this is fine. Interesting, she woke up bored. She's getting ready for the day, as usual. We're gonna give Kat some loving, perfect. Look at that, oh. You know, it's not that bad of a life, even though the job kinda sucks. You know, so no one told her life was gonna be this way. Her job's a joke, she's broke. Although she's not that broke, cause she just won inheritance. And her love life is DOA. <laughs> It is not happening, her love life. Poor girl, but we will get there eventually. We have work in seven hours and we do need some new skills. We just finished guitar. I'm thinking we should work on fitness. We're level four on fitness and there's a gym nearby and maybe we can run into attractive people there. So let's travel by ourselves and see who we run into. I want her to like have that moment of like, oh, who is that? And she hasn't had that yet, but she, she does find a couple Sims attractive. So so we have some options. We have options. All right, we're here. We're gonna work out. It's gym time, baby. Let's work out and see who is around. <gasps> it's the guy. It's the sim that I made and he's a gym trainer. <sighs> Hello, sir. Can you train me? <laughs> Flirty introduction to be like, hello. 
trainer. Go get him, go get him. He's so hot. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. And she looks great in those shorts. Be like, hello, Theo Paris. Please don't be married. He's not married. This is perfect. Flatter him, brighten his day. Oh my gosh, also all these hearts. Does she find him super attractive? What's going on with the hearts? Very attractive. Ooh, baby. Okay, 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 okay. I want a little flirt. And then I feel like they will do like a run together or work out together. Oh my God, Skylar, don't call him in the middle of something. No, mom, no. Okay, why don't you work out next to him, girl? Okay, and then you can pick up this conversation from there. You can flirt next to him. Work out with Theo. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, he's still talking to us. He's like asking her all these questions about her life. Are you new into town? I haven't seen you in the gym before. Oh, he's so hot. Working out without his shirt. He's just so beautiful. She's working on her fitness. Oh, she will now be at this gym all the time. She has a reason to keep coming to this gym because Theo's here. I wonder if he like owns this gym. That would be kind of cute if he's the owner. They're still talking. They have not stopped this conversation since I introduced them. Oh my God, she just fell on her face in front of him. Dude, leave. Oh, that guy's mean and he's making fun of us. I'm gonna pretend like Theo made this guy leave for us, even though he technically didn't. Cause now that I know how to make Sims leave, I'm a new woman. Goodbye. Oh yeah, we're level five of fitness. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ask him to mentor you. Okay, I think he's mentoring her. <gasps> this is so good. Oh, he's like, give it all you've got, Amethyst. Higher, faster, you got this. Look at him, he's so cheerful with how he like takes care of her. This is going so well. They are vibing so quickly. Theo sure knows what he's doing and Amethyst has nothing but respect. And they're neighbors. I'm just saying, this was meant to be. Oh my gosh, she really went hard in that workout. Look at their friendship. They have been having one conversation. Ask him if he's single. Maybe a romance isn't DOA. I still don't know what DOA means. Comment what it means. I never knew when I was a kid. They are everything. Who is this other girl that is trying to butt into this conversation? Cause I will cut you. He is single. Okay, perfect. Keep talking. Compliment his appearance. Be like, wow, you, you look really good. Uh, I can tell you're a professional trainer. <laughs> oh, they just became good friends immediately. And they have like a little bit of flirting. Give him a little sweet talking. Who is this? Man! Oh my god, he's back again. Gosh, throughout the conversation, Amethyst got the impression that Theo finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. And then this guy, flipping this guy, I thought I banished you, sir. I thought I banished you and your pencil thin mustache. Get on my conversation. I'm trying to talk to this beautiful man. All right, leave. Get out. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here because they're getting along way too well. What if they like work out together? Maybe she will lift the weights and then like ask him to spot her. Yeah, ask him to mentor you. You again. Oh my gosh, look, make out with Theo. Oh my gosh, yes, fitness level six. She is really crushing this. Oh, and she's thinking about her little brother. I bet she misses her little bros. Oh my gosh, and he's working out in front of her and she's stretching. They're so trying to look cool for each other and she's literally going to run again. Aren't you gonna be tired and sore? Girl, and he's bouncing out, he's leaving. We start working an hour, girl. You're gonna have to take care of your needs. What? None of them are bad. How did that happen? Both of these guys keep trying to chatter up. Look at her, she's now annoyed. She's like, can a girl just work out in peace? I love how when Theo did it, it was fine. But when all of these people try to hit on her, it is not fine. Is that Theo? Wait, since when was Theo so ripped? Where did these come from? Where? We gotta go to work. Ooh, Genevieve was like, I heard down the grapevine that you met. Maybe she already texted Genevieve about her. And Genevieve's like, oh, who is this guy? I heard you became good friends with him like what's going on i need the tea girl and she's like i will give you all the tea when i get home do not worry about it love this and look at her she's just doing her little dancey dance because she loves it and now she's going what is this outfit and where did this come from i think the game glitch that is such an old outfit from when she was like actually a child but Sounds like there's a party going on at our house. There is a party going on in our house. Are we working hard? Yes, we're working hard. Wait, she just got home. What happened? <gasps> Amethyst was promoted to food service cashier. Yes! 
again. She will now make an additional two simoleons per hour, but that doesn't matter because we're quitting today. We got what we needed to get. And then randomly, for some reason, the Renaissance sim went up one, even though I thought we needed to have three careers. And technically we did not do two careers. We just did the one career. I got to level three once, but anyway, we are now officially able to quit our job. And who's this? Roommate's boyfriend. Mai has a new boyfriend every five minutes. Either has multiple boyfriends or has a new boyfriend every time we see a boy that is her boyfriend. But she is quitting her job. We're quitting it. She is super happy about it because she's non-committal. She's like, yeah, fast food's not for me. And then we're gonna find a new job. We're like, you know what? We are not reaching our potential. And we were told all our childhood that we are so, so smart and we could be in a different industry. So we are going to do that. Also, we're gonna go to the bathroom and we are gonna throw a flipping party to celebrate us going to med school, baby. Woo! All right, here we go. Doctor career, yes. And this is now a medical assistant at T-Pose Medical. She starts Monday and it is Saturday. We don't have work tomorrow. We need to treat three patients. Okay, this is exciting. Also, get out of my room. No, sir. Lock computer for everyone but Amethyst. All right, no one else is on this computer. It's our computer, please, thank you. That is nice, we just met you. Oh my gosh, let's have a party. Also, it already sounds like they're throwing a party downstairs because of this. Oh, it's our, <gasps> it's our neighbor and they're having, who is woohooing next door? Oh my God, our aunt is woohooing next door. Okay, we are throwing a house party. Heck yes. All right, we should be playing games at the same time. Oh, we should get our gaming console. I forgot to have a console. All right, we'll put it here. And I love that they have just an old school looking TV. I think that's really funny. We're gonna wait until everybody's here. We are in our party look. When is he gonna come over, the guy that we're into? And when will my neighbor stop having really loud woohoo? Okay, we have to flirt with someone too at the party. Okay, they're coming, they're coming. And he's shirtless as usual. Oh my gosh. Go thank him for coming. She's catching Genevieve up on what happened today. She's like, I'm feeling really proud of myself and feeling very confident. Okay, this is now a young adult. Okay, that's good. She's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. Let's flirt with him a little bit. Just like a casual little flirt, nothing crazy. And then we'll all play party frenzy. Oh my gosh, finally my neighbor stopped having really loud woohoo at last. We are all having our fun little game time. It is awesome. Theo is so big. I kind of want him to change. He has really cute outfits, so let's put him in something. There you go. We're having a good time. The party's going well. We're playing our video games. We need to make a move on him, and we need to make out with him at this party, because we want to. We're gonna flirt, and then we're gonna have our first kiss once this game is over. Oh, she likes video gaming. That's sweet. I love that she likes video gaming. Amethyst is so well-rounded. Okay, talk to to this guy. Thank him for coming. He should not be embarrassed. Compliment his outfit. Oh, she's now charisma level eight. We did that too. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. It's a party. They're having our first kiss. Ah! <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay. And then I want them to sit and chat on the couch together. And then she's going to make out with him because that's what she wants to do. Don't fall asleep. We've got to make a move. Okay. Go make a move on him. Stop napping. The hottie is next to you. We are so close to making out with him on the couch, which is what we've been wanting to do. Where is the... No! You are so close. Just sit down, Theo, and stay seated with me, please. Give him a massage. Be like, wow, your muscles look so tense and then can we just make out already please sit down so we can make ah why is everyone sitting next to her i get that it's a party and everyone is supposed to be vibing together but come on i'm going to make them a separate group and they're gonna go upstairs for a little privacy okay to go make out upstairs in her room i think that's such a party move they are going up the stairs everyone's downstairs chatting no sit sit together sit down theo sit go sit on this couch perfect there are alone. No one's around. Make out. Make your dreams come true, baby. Make out with Theo. It's happening. Yes. Oh my gosh. Love is in the air with our personal trainer that we met at the gym. This girl's living my dream right now. <laughs> 
gorgeous. Love it. Love this. They went downstairs to go back with their friends. Maybe tell some gossip to your girlfriend here. She's gonna tell her. She's like, we just made out upstairs. She's gonna be like, oh my gosh, Genevieve, you'll never guess what just happened. What we did. We went upstairs and we made out. <laughs> this is so cute. Giving her the hot gossip. Oh my gosh. And now she's charisma level nine. We might as well just max out charisma then. And how our house party was complete and it was successful. Promise to dedicate song to him. Be like, oh, if I ever play at a concert, I'll like write a song for you. <laughs> the vibes are immaculate right now. I'm not gonna lie. The party is over. It is 6 a.m. They've been partying to 6 a.m. Oh my gosh. Classic. Let's fill the bowl for our baby. Make sure our baby is loved. And then we gotta go to bed. We are so tired. It's new skill day. Um, Our favorite holiday because we love building new skills. Look, it even says Amethyst loves this tradition. She loves new skill day. You're gonna go to sleep and Theo just headed out. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, what skill should we work on? Probably fitness. Give us a good excuse to go see Theo today. Even though he, we just saw him, like honestly. Look at this scene. One's doing push-ups, one's smelling her armpit, and one's passed out on the couch belly up. <laughs> but let's travel. I do want to go back to the gym just because I do want her to work out again. Maybe if we run into Theo there, we run into Theo there. It's okay. But I think we could get up at least to level seven, if not eight. We see Theo there, then we see Theo there, like whatever. It's like not because of him that we went, we just happened to go and maybe he'll be there. Perfect, hop on that treadmill, my darling, get you a workout in and we will see who is around. It looks like Charlie Lynn is here who I think is a sim one of you guys made. No one upstairs, all right, just us. So no Theo at the gym today, which is totally fine. We gotta be in the zone, all right? We're working on our own fitness. We don't need a man's. Oh my gosh, Skylar wants to chat. Yeah, let's let's talk to mom. We'll jump off and talk to mom. Be like, yeah, mom, we're at the gym. This guy again, this guy again. <gasps> Theo's here, Theo, what? Oh, wow. We gotta show off our muscles to Theo and be like, Theo, since our workout the other day, uh, my muscles have been looking real toned, you know? Oh my gosh, is this girl trying to talk to my guy? This is our man's. He blew us a kiss. He's really proud of our muscles. Okay, we're gonna work out and we're gonna ask him to mentor us again. Please stop talking, okay? Stop talking to my man. That is my man. Genevieve's calling us to be like, oh my God, by the way, I'm so proud of you for landing your new job. Wait, is that mom? Mom is here? Mom! What up? Hi, mom. Congratulations on your marriage. We're also level seven. Perfect. We did improve a skill. So many people hanging out with us right now. Mom just checked in. She was like, I happen to be in the area and was at the gym. Is she trying to flirt with us? Charlie Lynn, you almost dated my mom. Gossip about your neighbors. Be like, oh my God, did you hear my neighbors woohooing all night? Let's give them a little kiss, a little smooch, and then we'll go to use the bathroom. Ooh, make it out in the gym. Marking your territory in front of Zoya. We're gonna have to ask him to be our boyfriend soon because he seems like entirely too popular at this gym. Why is this man that I hate in a towel talking to us? Put your clothes back on, dude, when you leave the locker room, please. Sir. Oh, she's gonna go work out again. That's my girl right there, working out, pushing those limits. I'm so proud of her. Also, where's our boyfriend? Cause I mean, he's not our boyfriend yet, but he could be. While we work out, we could be getting to know him at the same time. Always be skill building and flirting. <gasps> he's a cat lover. Oh wait, I made him, I forgot. <laughs> I literally was like, oh my God, he's a cat lover. How romantic because we have a cat we're meant to be. And then I'm like, Kelsey, you made him a cat lover. I literally chose that when I was building him. I'm just dead. Okay, we're almost at level eight. We are crushing this right now. He's asking us on a date, like right now. I mean, we're at the gym, but okay, let's go on a date, Theo, okay, if he wants us to go on a date. Wow, what a whirlwind. We like met him yesterday, they clicked so fast. This actually explains a lot why they might get married really quick and then she's like, has a midlife crisis and is like, uh, I actually wanna be a dancer and I don't know if I should be married and blah. Okay, what is this outfit, girl? Oh, we have two cold weather wears. Now we don't. Fixed it. All right, we're on our date now. So let's talk about cooking and then we need to sit and talk to her date. She looks so cute in her little cold weather look and he does too. We're gonna tickle him a little bit. They're gonna be kissing. They will be making out. They are really into each other, discussing interests. This is just, ah. Oh. 
OTP. This is Endgame, baby. They are so attracted to each other. They are so into each other. They're just obsessed with each other, honestly. <laughs> and we're gonna give him a massage as well. She's telling him a funny story, maybe about her little brothers. That, that'd be really cute. One of them is so cool, and the other one's such a little nerd. They're essentially Zack and Cody from Sweet Life. All right, have two deep conversations with our date. We are gonna perfect this date. It will be the perfect date. Deep conversation number one. All right, we already maxed out this date. Oh, look at them kissing autonomously. I didn't even tell them to do that. She is a little hungry. Is there any food here? Maybe we should order some food? Oh my gosh, french fries, always. You know, she's not changed at all. Grab a serving together. That way our date will also have some fries out in the snow. Our date is coming. Bill looking interested. These two, what is this man? Do not flirt with her. No, don't get in the pool. You might be cold. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Ask him to be your boyfriend. And maybe to show you a new outfit because you're gonna freeze to death. Look at you. Yes, please don't do that anymore. Please ask ask to see outfit, cold weather, okay? Please make him change. No, both, don't both of you do it. Okay, all right, all right. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, go sit inside. Go inside, you idiots. She's trying to flirt by being in her swimsuit. This is not the way to do it, my darling, okay? Get inside, it is too cold. Why are you like this? Change, change into your cold. It is literally snowing outside. It's the end of the day. We had our food, so we're feeling yummy. We're feeling all full. Where is he going? Did she just ask him and he, ugh, it glitched. I didn't even get my moment. He was outside. Dang it, Sims. Whatever, I guess he's our boyfriend now. We're just gonna chat with him and like maybe make out a little bit, all right? And that'll be them becoming boyfriend, girlfriend, I guess. Whatever. There they go. This is them really becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. I love it. I'm obsessed. I can't wait. I'm already like marriage, children. I'm miles ahead. Remember when I was like, oh, you guys could make some Sims for me. Apparently not. I'm sorry because this just worked too well. They're attracted to each other. They bonded so fast. Who is this? Jordan, no. Do not enter yourself into this date, please, sir. Look at him, he turned right back around. It's like he knew. Oh my gosh, they're almost maxed out with their feelings. Yay, our gold medal was earned. We're gonna go home, because we have work tomorrow, but I didn't get to finish that skill. I was so close. Maybe we could do like a workout video? That could work. There she goes, yes. Get that workout in, queen. Leave affirming note, read note. Someone left us a note? I didn't even know this is a thing. I wanna read the note after we finish our workout. Yes, aspiration, what, completed? Are you kidding me? Achieve level eight and six skills in level three and three careers. We did not do level three and three careers, but we have achieved a level eight and six skills. Are you kidding me? Heck yes, that's one thing down of the not so very challenge. Nailed it. She's looking at the note. Your smile brightens on my day. I hope to see it again soon. That is cute. Wait, is that from her boyfriend? Because they're technically neighbors. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna say it is. And like, when can he move in? Maybe next episode we'll have him move into the house. Or maybe he doesn't have to move in. I don't know. But they do have to get engaged pretty quick, I think. And then they'll get remarried. New skill day was awful. Are you flipping kidding me? We got so many new skills. Did we need to start a brand new skill from ground zero? Is that what it was? That's on me. Well, Amethyst is getting up for work, but I think I'm gonna leave this one here. We ended our job. We completed the aspiration and we got a boyfriend. Friend. So I think that we did quite a lot this time around. Let me know in the comments what other skills you want built and all of your feelings about Theo. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!